Hey there, Andrew here, and welcome to uh, building a translation portfolio. So you've obviously decided that creating a portfolio is something that your business needs, or maybe you're trying to take it to the next level to get direct clients, better translation agencies, whatever the case may be. I completely agree that translator portfolios are the next thing. They are essential to taking your business to the next level. And it is a business, and that's that's the chip that we have to switch. Being a freelance translator is a business, and we need to act like it. And every business nowadays has a website, and so yours should as well. And so I'm glad you've decided to take this um, journey with me. And I understand that it can be slightly daunting but we're going to go step by step through this process. And to get us started, I just wanted to show you a little bit about what we're going to create and the different things that we're going to add. So as you can see, so this black bar up here, this is from WordPress. This, if anybody visits your website, this will not be seen. I can see this because I am, as it says over here, the admin. But we will talk about WordPress and all of that down the road. So up here, we have obviously the name of our website or company. If you have an icon, you can actually put your icon up there. We have our menu. And one of the new things that I've added is you can actually change the language. So I will just do that quickly. So I translate from Spanish to English. And so if I click on the ES over here, it will change it into Spanish. So obviously, if there are translation agencies who come from different countries and they would like to see your website in their language, they can do that. And it's obviously very easy for them to switch back and forth between English and Spanish. And there's actually another way down here that you, they can switch from English to Spanish. So I'm just going to leave it on English for now. Um, at the very top, we have this contact button. And I will teach you how to create this contact button. If they click on this button, it will actually scroll all the way down to your contact form. So I go through that in the course as well. Um, I talk about all of these different sections. So first, my specializations. We are going to add those. We're going to learn how to add different icons and photos. My services. You will be able to learn how to put these this visual graph in here where you can change the words font, size, whatever you want to do with it. Recent translations, if you would like to see some, if you would like to give translation agencies a bit, a few examples of your work, which I feel can be great, especially if you're trying to avoid test translations, which I know we all are. Um, giving some recent translations is a great idea. So I'm going to teach you how to create these examples, how to create a post where you show how you translate your work. And so we have our source text over here and our target text over there. So you can actually see exactly how I translate. And you can add up as many different recent translations in here as you would like. I only have two just as examples. Next, we're going to move on down to testimonials. So if you have a pros account, and you have some testimonials on there, you can trade, you can just grab them and move them over here, or you can go get other testimonials, whichever you prefer. But as we all know, testimonials are huge, basically a way for others to say that your work is high quality and they're very happy with the product you made. I obviously invented a few testimonials here uh, by myself, just as an example. And we're going to have our contact form. So this is in case anybody wants to obviously send you a message or contact you. And GDPR agreement, of course, to make sure if you have any agencies or clients in Europe. And then at the very bottom, we have our about section. And you just have a little, a little bit of information about who you are, just a little extra for people to give you a little personalization. We also have our social media buttons in case anybody wants to head over to your social media account and see what you're about. And then we have our top button. 
So these are these are all the things that I feel are necessary to put onto or in your translation portfolio. And I'm also going to teach you how, if you'd like to add more, you can do that. You can take away, we're going to use an, an incredible plugin called Elementor that will allow you to make this website you. It will be able to show your personality and who you are and make it more likely that a translation agency will hire you. So thank you again for choosing my course to uh, help you along in this journey and i'm very excited to get started so if you have any any questions or comments or introduce yourself in the comment section below and we will get started and i will see you in the next video